Here is a collection of monologues from William Shakespeare's The Twelfth Night. These are the ones that you will find Olivia and Viola sang. Since I am a woman, I figured might as well go with the female monologues found there. This first one is Viola, I'm sorry, Olivia. And she is reflecting on a conversation with Cesario, which is really Viola in disguise, although she has no idea of the truth behind the page boy. What is your parentage? Above my fortunes, yet my state is well. I am a gentleman. I'll be sworn thou art. Thy tongue, thy face, thy limbs, actions, and spirit do give thee fivefold blazon, not too fast. Soft, soft, unless the master were the man. How now? Even so quickly may one catch the plague. Methinks I feel this use perfections with an invisible and subtle stealth to creep in at mine eyes. Well, let it be. This next one is by Viola, who is now reflecting on her encounter with Olivia. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune forbid my outside have not charmed her. She made good view of me, indeed, so much that sure me thought her eyes had lost her tongue, for she did speak and starts distractedly. She loves me, sure. The cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. None of my lord's ring. Why, he sent her none. I am the man, if it be so. As tis, poor lady, she were better love a dream. Disguise, I see, thou art a wickedness, wherein the pregnant enemy does much. How easy it is for the proper false in women's waxen hearts to set their forms. Alas, our frailty is the cause, not we. For such as we are made of, such we be. How will this fadge my muster loves her dearly? And I, poor monster, fond as much on him, as she mistaken seems to dote on me. What will become of this? As I am man, my state is desperate for my master's love. As I am woman, now alas the day. What thriftless sighs shall poor Olivia breathe? O oh, time, thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard a knot for me to untie. This last one is again Olivia, who is reflecting on her admiration for Cesario, who, again, is Viola. Oh, what a deal of scorn looks beautiful in the contempt and anger of his lip. A murderous guilt shows not itself more soon than love that would seem hid. Love's night is noon. Cesario, by the roses of the spring, by maidhood, honor, truth, and everything. I love thee so that mark all pride, nor wits nor reason can my passion hide. Do not extort thy reasons from this clause, for that I woo, thou therefore hast no cause, but rather reason, thus with reason fetter. Love sought is good, but given unsought better.